Okay, no, stop. Push this down, push this down as you raise this. Wrong way. Okay. You need to make sure that when we do this, that you want to make sure that you move the entire, uh, like his arm down. Like this way. Take it, take it down. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That makes it tight and that gets that a lot more effect. So as you push this into the ground, you raise that. Good, beautiful. Six, five, good. Four, three, two, one, time. From there, his common reaction is to straighten the arm. As he straightens his arm, you guys want to make sure that you use your own hands to lock it so he doesn't, so he doesn't pull it out. You guide it, and then at this point, then you push down with the uh, look outside and pull and push up with the with the inside. There, as as Gashi Yudi Tommy, you kind of play with your head. You just take the energy gives you, pull it out. If you roll on a stomach, even better. Regardless, your elbow arm pit is the pivot point. Pull up, pull up. We're gonna work on a basic concept. So, uh, I hook the arm. He's hooked it and he's rotated. He didn't just hang on to the thing because if he hangs on, he can still and he still can do it. He's gonna hook and notice, notice the heel. He's posted on the top of the uh, foot here. That way, buyer can't throw his leg out and go and roll. Then he's gonna press and then move over that way. Again, taking away what he could brace with and then rolling that direction one more time. His hand is gonna grab the pinky meat just like we do when we're doing the tummy, right? Grabbing the pinky, just like this. You're gonna put the flat part of your forearm on the solace. You're gonna pull up. Now, as he applies pressure, he's then gonna rotate this bone into the solace, pressing up like this. Go ahead. That is what gets the tap. 